Hello everybody, welcome to The Wonky Angle, where I talk about electronic music, both new and old. And today, I'm talking about the new album for Mr. Wazoo. All wet. Long delay, I know. Mr. Wazoo is the alias for Quentin Dupieux, a French producer and film director, apparently, known for his somewhat experimental and abrasive styles, and in particular for his single Flat Beat, which was apparently in some jeans commercials back in 1999. Now, I'd known the guy existed for quite a long time, as he did a remix of Airs Don't Be Light on their Everybody Hurts compilation, but that was basically all I knew of him. I hadn't bothered to look the guy up until just recently as I started getting requests to cover him, so apologies for not exactly being an expert on this guy. <laughs> but he never really caught my attention despite apparently having somewhat of a cult following of his own. So this is kind of another one of those outsider perspective review sort of, you know, everyone's favorites. But not wanting to just be stuck in the dark on this guy either, I marathoned his stuff, and uh, here's my thoughts on his discography so far. Extremely abrasive, lots of heavily distorted analog synths and aggressive beats. Seems to subscribe to the Daft Punk homework ideals. I mean, I can certainly respect it, but eh, not really my thing, to be honest. Uh, this one is a lot more random and abstract, like someone throwing every song on the radio into a wood chipper and presenting what comes out of it as is without any regards to catchiness or danceability. Not quite as headache inducing as the debut though, I like this one a little more. This one involves a lot more straightforward French house and electro elements and was quite frankly way more enjoyable than the previous two releases. Easily my favorite from the guy to date. Another more difficult and random one didn't really leave a strong impression on me in either way. Didn't love it, didn't hate it. Basically exact same deal as the previous album, though I think I like this one a little more. Which brings us here. I guess my overall thoughts on this guy is that he's certainly not like an immediate favorite or anything. I definitely have a lot of respect for the guy though. I like how he's always pushing the boundaries even if I don't always find him that fun to listen to. If there's any artist that comes remotely to mind when listening to the guy, there is one that comes very close actually, and that would be Justice. While I uh, have more respect for Mr. Wazo, in fact, it seems blatantly obvious to me that he was probably one of Justice's biggest inspirations. Enjoyment-wise, I think I'd probably gravitate more towards Justice being more accessible and easy to swallow. And I assume this is where everybody floods the comment section with requests to cover Justice, but... Let's get back to Mr. Wiseau. Now, I was at least looking forward to this new album here, which saw a lot of featuring credits ranging from Peaches, Boys Noise, and Serious Mo, which I remember from Jean-Michel Jarre's latest projects, to names more popular over here in America, like Skrillex and Charlie XCX. I thought, that must mean he's going to go do something a little more commercial and accessible, like Lamb's Anger, just with more guests, right? Well, I plopped on All Wet with High Hopes, how did it turn out? Hmm. Well, on first listen, I didn't really like it. I mean, it was okay, and it did seem like Wazo trying out some more contemporary styles and blending them with his own, but there were a lot of moments that kind of bugged me and I couldn't really get behind. But I will also have to admit, this was, this was definitely a grower, too. While at first I only liked a small handful of tracks, I found some more to like as time went on, and I think overall I enjoyed the experience. Still don't like every moment on here, but eh, whatever. I'll start with the stuff I didn't like and get those out of the way. Uh, I did not like the track with Peaches, for instance. Freezing Out, I think. That one didn't really have the hidden catchiness that What You Want from Jean-Michel Jarre's album did. It just kind of came off to me as unpleasant as Peaches talks about vaginas over a beat that ranges from unimpressive to annoying. And I just ended up skipping it most of the time, to be honest. I mean, I know it was meant to be unnerving, but still didn't really have fun listening to that one. Unpleasant and uncomfortable uh, seem to be the running themes for the songs that I didn't like on this album. Your Liver is another excellent example of such. I mean, I know he's screwing with me on purpose, but that computer saying, Give me your liver and I'll give you my heart, over and over, but... <laughs> 
Yeah, that one always took me out of it. There were a couple of interludes I didn't like either, most notably the one you buy, which was just boring and atonal, as was the ending track, useless. Not ending off on a strong note much at all. Though at least that one kind of blends into the previous track, so I didn't notice it much. Cares featuring Maki was also kind of annoying, didn't really like that one. But I, I guess it... It got a little better with repeat lessons. And the Charlie XCX track, uh, Hand in the Fire, that was a pretty big disappointment. Like, I like the sections of that track with Charlie XCX on it, but the drop is... The drop just left me thinking, come on, dude, you can do better than that. It's all atonal and boring. It just kills the track for me. Like... Come on, dude, you can do better than that. But as far as stuff I didn't like from this album, that's about it. The rest was solid. Like, at first I didn't like the track with Skrillex, End of the World, but that one grew on me a lot with 3 P listens, too. I expected the track to be like Skrillex doing the drop on Mr. Wazo's build-up and just kind of putting their styles next to each other as that kind of collab seems to play out. But actually, I think this song is a pretty smooth combination of their styles instead. The drop, if you even want to call it that, sounds like Wazo trying to sound like Skrillex. And the build-up is like Skrillex trying to sound like Wazo. Like they were actually trying to work together, and I really appreciate that. Good track. Another song that got better and better with each listen was Seahorses featuring uh, Tetanos. That song actually had a similar effect on me as Jar's What You Want did. At first I thought it was annoying, but I found something catchy about it, and I ended up liking it. But there are actually songs on here that I liked immediately, such as the chopped up funk samples of OK Then and Wazo. And as we know from my thoughts on Daft Punk's Face to Face, I'm always game for chopped up funk samples. Between those two, I prefer the more conventional former over the more abstract latter. Anyway, Low Link. That was also pretty fun on first listen, kind of like OK Then. And Gulag Drums. That one starts out a little iffy, but I like where it ended up at the end. I think pretty interesting track overall. I like it. But my favorite track on the album is probably the title track featuring Serious Mo. It's a lot, got a lot of fun melodies involved. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it as far as individual tracks go. So overall, I have a lot of conflicted thoughts on this album. Obviously. It's got its ups, it's got its downs. There were some moments where I was thinking, eh, this isn't really my thing, or, or even, come on man, you can do better than this. But there were some moments where I was totally grooving along with everything. But I think overall, there's more on this album that I do like than I don't like, and I'd be more willing to blame my personal taste on my lack of enjoyment on certain songs. If you like the guy's previous albums and are interested in seeing him take on some more recent conventional EDMs, styles while combining it with some of his older sounds too, you'll probably like this just fine. Just a little hit and miss for me personally. Um, I'm overall feeling a solid 7 out of 10, I think. But of course, this is just my opinion. You can feel free to disagree with it, but I'd like to hear your thoughts, so leave the comments in the comment thing down there. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all for today. See you next time. Wow.